Mikey Pipes. They say a shoemaker's kid shoes. They got none. This Mullen, Robin tub, deck mounted, tub filler. She's been dripping for about two years. She's getting worse. It's dripping hot water, but I got a tankless water heater, so it don't meet the minimum flow rate. But she don't stop. She don't stop. Today, we're gonna rebuild this. So I spoke to my mowing rep, and he sent me this and tells me this is everything that I need. I got a mowing 1248, high flow two handle cartridge replacement. I got two of them, hot and cold. I have this bunch of plastic parts, 106, 378. And I have the cartridge removal tool, 14272. Let's see how this goes down. First thing we're gonna do is churn off the water. Main water valve, I closed it. She's right there, she's pointing down. I guess I could have closed one of the bypass valves, but I didn't. Why? Well, I forgot. All right, now that the water's off, I'm gonna open the hot and cold faucet on this fixture and a couple others in the home. Like that one. This one too. And this one. All right, now that the water's off, I'm gonna try to unscrew the trim. And these handles spin off like this. Okay, there's one. She's been leaking for a while. Now that both handles are gone, I'm gonna take a Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna take out the set screws that hold in the spline for the handle. Oh, she don't wanna go. She's stubborn. We're gonna do that one more time to the cold side. Well, should I say the hot side? The right is typically cold. The left is typically hot. Unless you're south of the equator, then your toilet bowl flushes in reverse. All right, if you look inside, you're gonna see that little white thing. It looks circular, it has like indentation right now at the 10 and looks like four o'clock position. Well, that's a retention ring and we're gonna use that brass looking tool to unthread that. It's gonna sit right there. We'll just use a pair of pliers or a wrench or your hand to unloosen that. And she's gonna come all the way up to the top. All right, so I got one out. But the other one, she ain't looking too good. She definitely ain't looking too good. She don't want to come out. So I called my mowing rep. I know it's Sunday morning at 10.30. He's probably in church or doing something. Uh, he told me to take this outside and grind it down. And then we're going to shove it into this little piece of plastic. And hopefully that will be able to spin it out. Well, I'll tell you something, if that don't work, there's always plan B. And Connor, this is not Buck. All right, so wearing my proper PPE, took my grinder outside and I made her sharp. Let's see if this is gonna work. Well, what do you think, plan B? All right, let's see. Let's put it right there and let's tap her down with a framing hammer. Let's take a, I don't think this is gonna work. Let's see. Let's see, how are you working? It's hard to tell. Nah, she ain't, she ain't budging. As a matter of fact, let's try that again. See if I can bend these little 
tabs out a little bit and maybe that'll help. I got a feeling we'll be working with plan B, you know. Sometimes you have that oops. You know what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Oops. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. show you nothing's happening she's not even budging looks like we'll be using plan b all right here goes nothing couple notches i do one more for good luck chiseling away at that now. Alright. Got a whole bunch of mess in there, but let's see if we can chisel our way at her. I've been doing a lot of chiseling. We made a few notches, but wow. <laughs> she did not want to go. I'll tell you that. She did not want to go. One stubborn son of a gun. I'll tell you that. One stubborn son of a gun. And if I was relying on these threads, on the brass body, to be leak free, well, I would need a new, <laughs> I would definitely need a new body. But it's only holding this retention clip in, so we're good. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and uh, try to flush that out a little bit and get a vacuum and uh, try to pull out that, that cartridge in there. All right, to make my life easier and to pull those cartridges out, I just took a long, sheetrock screw, thread it into the cartridge, and pulled her out. One done, one to go. All right, let's try that again. Oh, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. That's right, got it. All right, I'm gonna go run some water from the water main, flush out those lines. So, let's see what happens. If you thought this video was gonna be an episode of Plumber Flood's House, like that was, smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so I already did the cold water shutoff valve. Now I'm gonna take my Moen 1248 cartridge out of this child-proof packaging, or should I say tamper threat theft resistance, resistant because there's the uh, thingamajiggy, you know, the security thing, because they you know we're gonna steal them, right? And I'm gonna take that extension spindle I'm gonna line that up there. We're gonna get that included Phillip screw. And I'm gonna take a long Phillip screwdriver and we are going to tighten that up in there. It's always fun and a challenge when you're trying to get it done while your wife and kids are yelling at you. You're like, Daddy, when is the water gonna be back on? So, ladies and gentlemen, shoemaker kid shoes. I kid you not. All right, so now that this is attached and I cleaned out, the body for the hot water. Let's see if we can get this in there. All right, so one of the first things we're gonna notice is that we have a little bit of water in there, but if we can look hard enough in there, oh shit, don't wanna get my finger stuck in there. <laughs> if we can look hard enough in there, that wouldn't be good. Right, there should be notches, right, where the 
body is going to fit the cartridge. Sorry, there's a notch right there. If you, hopefully you can see it. And there's another one there, but we need to line that up and get it in the hole. I guess I could use a shop vac to suck up some of this water. I'm just going to use this as a plunger. Try to get all that water out of there, but she's not working. I'm going to go get a straw. And look at the water level rise back up and rise back down. I'm going to get a straw and suck up some of that water. All right, let's get that straw in there. And, did you think I was going to suck on it? You did. You, think, you thought I was going to suck on this to get the water out of there, didn't you? All right, I'll prove you guys wrong. Thought I was messing around, didn't you? It's just water, you're bathing it, silly. All right, now we should be able to see those notches a little bit better. Probably not, but it's in there somewhere. And there's one, and there's the other. So let me carefully get this in there and uh, get the show on the road. All right, there's that notch. I'm gonna get it right there. At least that's the goal. Okay. Hopefully we're in. Hopefully we're in. Okay. Now remember that disaster right there. Well, here's the replacement. And we're going to thread that on by hand. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get lucky here. We probably won't. And I'll probably be screwed and have to put a shut off valve in to get the water back onto the house. But, well, at least I gave it an effort today. So I promise, I really tried using that one, the one that came in the kit, and it just wouldn't work. So I used the one I took out of the cold water side, since that's, since that's the one that's not chewed up, and she's threading in. Let me get my little tool. All right, and let's finish this up. Okay, well, she's tight. She's tight. That's not what your sister said last night. I'd like to give a special shout out to that Boston plumber. Plumber, the plumbing monster. Man, he is an animal. I love his content. Check him out on TikTok. And I also think he does a lot of his shorts on YouTube. Check him out. Plumbing monster. And by the way, monster, your wife is hot. Better get the AC fixed, bro. All right. So after a little cleanup, I am proud to announce that we are done. Look at that. Flow is very nice. My stops operate correctly. And we are good to go. All in. Took a little over an hour and a half. Great little DIY project. Fix your moment. Roman tub.